US actress Amber Heard stands by a testimony in her first media interview since the defamation case with her ex-husband Johnny Depp. Let's return to this story we've been bringing you this morning, and it's about facial recognition software. Apparently it's increasingly being used by some of Australia's biggest retailers, at least that's according to Consumer Group Choice. They've named a few Kmart, Bunnings and The Good Guys among those using this facial recognition technology. Now, we have heard from some of those companies, uh, in particular Kmart and Bunnings. They say they're doing it to crack down on theft in store. It's all about theft. So if you're not pinching anything, why should you be worried? The chair of the Australian Privacy Foundation is David Vale, who joins us now with more. Morning, David. Thanks for uh, joining us. Just to start, can you explain exactly how this facial technology works? I understand it requires a database of of faces, doesn't it? It's not just CCTV. Well, the capture technology is uh, closed circuit television, so they get an image, whether it's a still image or a moving image, but um, that's not facial recognition, that's just you know, pictures. And, you know, you can do a lot of what they're talking about just using that technology. So, you know, if you've got a picture of someone pinching something, something off the shelf, um, you can see that, you can give it to the police, and um, it does... Uh, already having a, uh, access to a database of uh, what are known as biometric templates, which are sort of short codes that describe the key features of your face, supposedly in a uh, unique way, but actually with a pretty high error rate, false positives and false negatives. Um, that is, is something that is creates a lifelong security hazard for you because you can't change your face because it's hacked or abused or breached or 